These are the factors which are affecting the UGC NET exam cutoff. The first factor is the total number of applicants. So it means uh, in UGC NET exam is generally going to conduct for the most number of subjects. Okay, nearly it is uh, 87 or 88 number of subjects the exam is going to be conducted. So for each and every subject, if the more number of applicants are there, then if there is a chance to uh, reduce your cutoff. Okay, so it is a thing that if the more number of applicants are there, then your cutoff will be reduced. Then the second factor is maximum mark scored by the candidate. That means if out of the 100 mark in your subject, if anybody scores the 85 marks, is then that is the maximum marks, then obviously the cutoff marks will be increased. Okay, that means your cutoff will obviously depends upon the maximum mark scored by the candidate. So if the maximum mark scored by the candidate out of the 100, if it is 60, then the cutoff decreases. If out of the 100, if the maximum mark scored by the candidate is 80 marks, then the cutoff may increase. Okay. So, and the third factor is the difficulty level of the exam. So, previously the UGS NET exam is going to be conducted only in one slot, but nowadays due to the huge number of applicants and due to the online exam, uh, UGS NET exam is going to be conducted in the different slots and in different uh, dates. So, the difficulty level of the exam may change. That means while coming to the morning slot, the difficulty may be very, I mean, the level of the exam may be easy and while coming to the afternoon slot, the level of the exam may be moderate or difficult. So, here, depending upon the difficultiness of the exam, that means whatever the slot you allotted for the UG Senate exam, if that slot uh, is a difficulty level, then your cutoff marks will be reduced uh, definitely. There is one formula is there. And the fourth category is I mean the fourth factor is the category of uh, students that means depending upon the caste category. So in your caste category, either it might be the OC, OBC or SC, ST or economically weaker section or PWD, whatever the category is there. So depending upon your caste category also, the cutoff marks may changes. And the last factor is the previous year cutoff trends. That means whatever the previous year cutoffs are there. So based upon that one, we can estimate the present uh, year or the present exam cutoff also. The trend will almost follow maybe plus or minus minus 5 percentage may change okay